Bible Basics Q&A with Professor P. Hello again, everybody. Peter Sibilio here from Lourdes University. We love your questions at Annunciation Radio, and it's my pleasure to help with some answers. Today's question comes from Marie, who asks, which of Paul's letters actually come from Paul? Well, all of Paul's letters come from him, but which letters are they? We know some letters with Paul's name on them arise after he dies. Are some of them included in the New Testament? Probably. Most all Paul scholars today say some letters come from his followers or churches writing in his name. But just try to get those scholars to agree on exactly which ones. And that is where the agreement ends. The debate usually focuses on two groups of letters. The so-called Deuteropauline letters, Colossians, Ephesians, and 2 Thessalonians, plus the pastoral letters, 1 and 2 Timothy and Titus. Those are the ones scholars usually debate. But there's no debate about this. Whether he's still alive or alive with the Lord, Paul speaks through these letters. The Holy Spirit speaks through these letters, so these letters speak for themselves. They did when they were first finished, and they continue to speak to us today. And that makes them extra special and even more fascinating. I mean, those who knew Paul got to ask him lots of questions. Well, how would you like to ask Paul some questions? Haven't we all looked at the church and the world and wondered, what would Paul do? Well, these late letters might be the early church's attempt to ask and answer those very questions. Your question helps us hear that conversation all the more, Marie. Thank you so much for that, and thank you all for listening. We are listening to you. 